Well, tonight, people living in an Alexandria high rise remain in shock after they found out an elderly resident is accused of setting two dozen fires. Police say 74 year old Shirley Vigno set the fires inside Southern Towers complex along Seminary Road. Tom Rousey live outside these apartments. So Tom, what did neighbors tell you about this? Well, Allison, a lot of neighbors are just stunned by all this. This is Interstate 395 behind me, and the apartment building where this happened is part of the Southern Towers. Thousands of commuters go by and see it every day, and it was on the seventh floor where this alleged arsonist lived. Tonight, we talked to her next-door neighbor. She's an older woman. She looked like innocent. Barry Amshu says when she'd see seventh floor next door neighbor Shirley Ann Vinyu, they'd often talk about all the arsons hitting the floor. She says the 74 year old would say this. She don't know who's doing this and you know we are in danger in this apartment. So when she saw on the news that Vinyu has now admitted to setting the fires. Oh my goodness. I, I just surprised you know. You don't know who's in your neighbor. The fire department says Vinyu was caught on camera coming out of this seventh floor trash room last night. Another fire had been started inside. It's been torture. When it happened once, I thought it was, you know, it was just a fluke. But then they kept happening again and again and again, often in the trash room, but also on the walls, on the carpet. There were a total of 25 in 10 months. I just told my husband, I think someone is actually doing this on purpose. I think we have an arsonist. You're asleep. You don't, you don't know what can happen anytime of the day, you, you know. It's, it's scary. Dabola Hanafuja says many of the fires happened while she was pregnant and then after she had her baby. She and her husband are shocked at who was arrested, but they're also relieved. I'm really happy it's over, especially because of my baby. I think it's over now. I'm glad. You know, it's, it's, it's a big relief. And up there on the seventh floor tonight, we knocked on Vinyu's door. Nobody came to the door. Neighbors say she lives alone. And the last we've heard from authorities, she's still in jail. Now, it wasn't just the Alexandria Fire Department involved in this investigation. The ATF was also involved. Live tonight in Alexandria, I'm Tom Rousey, ABC7 News.